Hello everyone. Today, inshallah, we are going to start to complete our unit, unit seven. So the review. We have a study tip. Good handwriting is important. Take your handwriting quiz. So we have here a quiz. We are going to work in pairs, ask and answers. Take your uh, your partner's answers. As we know, the handwriting is uh, has many rules. First, you have to make sure uh, make sure in your handwriting you uh, use the capital letters with names with the first word in the sentence, first letter in the sentence, and we have to write on a line, and we have to put space between words, and we have to write the small letters in the same size. Also, we have to uh, start a new paragraph in new line. So you have to uh, take your partner answers when you do this quiz, okay? So good handwriting is important. Take our handwriting quiz. After the quiz, show your partner your handwriting and ask your bar partner's opinion. Okay. B, reading. So, you have to check your partner writing. Then you have to, if she take answer yes, she's not so good. If she take answer no, she's good. Okay, number two, if she is right on the line, she is good. If she she's calling, not, she's calling, not calling, calling, good. Calling, calling, calling. Okay, so and so on. Okay, now we will move to C vocabulary match and number. We're going to read the words. Then you are going to match these words with the pictures. Number one, bottom. Number two, coach. Number three, coast. Four, container. Five, express. Six, sink. Number seven, sticky tape. Sticky tape. Number eight, top. So we are going to match these words with the pictures. Okay, then we are going to uh, check your answers. Okay, so we have picture A, Ma we will match it with number four, container. Picture B, number five, express. Picture C, number three, cost. Picture D, number eight, top. The top of something. Picture E, number six, sink. This is sink. Okay, picture F with number one, bottom. Picture G with number two, coach. Picture H with number seven, sticky tape. Okay. Okay, so the stars, we have a grammar study. Our grammar today is talking about subject and object questions, okay? We can ask questions about the subject of sentence and the question about the object of sentence. They have different grammar. Look at the example. Here we have subject question and here we have object questions. We, we use subject questions when we want to ask about the subject. We use object question when we want to ask about the object. So something moved outside.
The subject here is something. Verb moved, object outside. So when we want to ask about the subject something, we do what? We use WH, then the same sentence. What moved outside? The answer will be something. We don't change the order of the sentence. Just we add the WH. So what, here we can see it. What moved outside? The answer will be the subject uh, something, okay? Number one, something moved outside. The subject question will be what moved outside? Number two, someone, this is the subject, someone opened the door. When you want to ask about the subject, which is someone, so we use who, because it's someone. We ask about a person. So who opened the door? Who opened the door? Okay, number three, a number of people, this is the subject, a number of people visited Fatima. A number of people visit Fatima. How many people? Ask about number. How many people visited Fatma? Okay? So an object question, we ask about the object. We don't know the object and we want to ask about it. An object question, we need a helping verb. Do, does, did. Okay? So what moved? Please notice that. The verb is past simple. What, sorry, Ahmed moved something. We want to ask about something. This is the object. We use a helping verb. So we have here past form of the verb. So we use the past form of do is did. So what did Ahmed move without ed, the first form of the verb. What did Ahmed move? Okay, the sentence number two, Ahmed saw, the best form of verb C, Ahmed saw someone, Ahmed saw someone, we want to ask about someone, okay, who passed, passed, who did, Ahmed C, the first form of verb C is C. So, see, so. What did Ahmed see? Okay, number three. Ahmed ate. It is the best form of verb eat. The best of verb eat. So, Ahmed ate a number of sweets. Okay, we will ask about this number of sweets, the object. How many sweets did Ahmed eat okay as you see here an object question we need a helping verb did did and did because they are in the past okay okay in subject question subject question we don't change the order we don't use helping verb no helping verb in the subject question. Do, does, or did. We don't need them in the subject question. For example, Ahmed went to school. Ahmed here is the subject and we want to ask about it. So, who went to school? The answer will be Ahmed. Who went to school? Ahmed went to school. Okay? So, this is a subject question. No helping verb. Okay? The form of the subject question will be WH, verb and object. Who went to school? Okay? An object question, we need a helping verb. Do, does, or did. We need them in object question. The form will be WH, helping verb, do, does, or did. Subject, main verb. Sarah ate Chinese food yesterday. So we will ask about the subject here, Chinese food. 
What did Sarah eat yesterday? She ate Chinese food. Okay, everyone. Now we have we have answers. We are going to make a question and write them in your notebook. Okay, please. Listen, I'm going to read these questions. Number one, someone saw the program last night. Sorry, last week. Someone saw. Please notice, we have saw as the past form of C. Someone saw the program last week. Number two, a number of people visited Nadia in a hospital. Number three, Salim bought something at a shopping mall in Khobar for while Salim was there someone who uh, sorry someone said hello to him while Salim was there someone said hello to him something caused the fire alarm to ring in one week Nadia usually reads a number of books here we will ask about someone, so we, it's supposed to be a um, subject question, because someone is subject here. A number of, pe of people visited Nadia in a hospital. What do you think? A number of people, so is it subject or object? Salim bought something. So what do you think something here is object or subject? Salim bought something. While Salim was there, someone said hello. So the sentence, someone said hello. So do you think someone is subject or object? Something caused the fire alarm to ring. So what do you think here? Something, is it subject or object? In one week, Nadia usually reads number of book. So the question will be about number of book here. So what do you think? Nadia reads number of book. So number of book here, is it object or subject? Okay, we will see. Okay, number one, someone saw the program last week. The, the question will be subject question. So who? So the program last week, we just uh, drop the subject and we add who, who saw, who saw the program last week. Number two, a number of people visited Nadia in a hospital. So, so a number of people is the subject and we will make a subject question. So how many people, how many people Visit Nadia in a hospital. Okay, number two, uh, three, Salim bought something at shopping. Salim bought something at shopping mall in Khobar. The object here is something, then we will make an object question. So we will, we will need a helping verb. The helping verb here is did because we have bought the bus symbol of buy. So what did Salim buy at the shopping mall in Khobar? While Salim was there, someone said hello. So someone said hello. Someone here is subject. So we'll make a subject question. So who said hello to Salim? Number four. Five, something caused the fire alarm to ring. Something caused, so something here is subject and we need a subject question. So what caused the fire alarm to ring? No helping verb. Number six, in one week, Nadia usually reads a number of book. Nadia reads number of book. So object question, how many books reads? Notice that we have S, so we will use does. So, Nadia, uh, how many books does Nadia read in one week? Okay. Mm. 
please listen and fill the spaces. Lesson 4, Saudi Review, Track 34, Exercise E, Listening, Complete the Notes. Is your brother Victor leaving for Istanbul today? Yes, as soon as he finishes work at 3, he'll go straight home. Why? To collect his cases. Oh, right. And then after he has collected his cases, he'll take a taxi to the airport. Is he leaving from Terminal 2? No. When he arrives at the airport, he'll go to Terminal 6. What time is his plane? It leaves at 6.45. Is he going to sleep on the plane? No. He says he can't sleep. Once he boards the plane, he'll read a magazine. What time does Victor arrive in Istanbul? At 9. Does he have a hotel? No. When he arrives in Istanbul, he'll have to find a place to stay. What will he do then? It will be quite late. Yes. Victor thinks it will be about 10.30. As soon as he gets to the hotel, he'll get something to eat. OK, please check your answers. And that's it. Thank you for watching.